Good morning everybody, it's DJB. I'm looking rough. Today is gonna be an interesting day. My family is actually gone. I have the whole house to myself. Thought I would just do a little bit of a vlog because that's kind of interesting, isn't it? Let's go down to the studio and get started. I've totally been listening to Taylor Swift his new album, which has been quite the interesting journey. So this particular guy, um, he's ready for his veins, actually, I need to do his veining. This girl needs a lot of additive sculpture to her. He has a lot of additive sculpture to him. My long mane fjord. Nakoda needs a bit more extra hair detailing to his fetlocks. These slippers are amazing, aren't they? They're so good. So I added veins to this girl just on her face, in her armpits, and her underbelly. And then I'm done sculpting on these guys for today. So things haven't worked really in my favor today. Uh, this little guy I sold on eBay a couple days ago. I need to package him up and take him to the post office. I also have this guy which has been ready to go for a while now. So I needed to take two things to the post office, but I have to meet someone at the post office and those things aren't ready and I have to go like basically now. I have lots to choose from. <laughs> So I pretty much have to go, so I'm just going to actually take these papers and some tape and a pen and I'm going to write up things at the post office and I'm going to ship them because I don't want to do it later. It's good. I've never vlogged in my car, so this is an exciting time. So I have to deliver this pair of riding boots to this lady. Let's not hit my mom's truck. Or my dad's truck. This is like Jenga. I need to pay attention to the dogs this afternoon. This is super interesting. You just get a parking lot, hacking fryers. Can't say I've ever done this before. So I just finished sending the parcels and good rule of thumb, always do it online because that took freaking forever for her to figure out. Now I can go home and enjoy the rest of my day. Hi! Hi! How are you? How are you? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! It's so exciting! It is! This is Dakota. Dakota. And that's Millie. We have no idea what's going on 95% of the time. So I'm actually feeling kind of hungry. Can you see Dakota? She's hungry too. Are you hungry? Is it supper time? <laughs> I must say, these tacos look mighty fine. They look like they could be on TV. So obviously I'm going to be eating with my new best friend, 90 Day Fiance. My guilty pleasure is trash TV. So I'm out here now, outside, and it was sort of sunny a second ago. It's a little less sunny now. I'm going to be priming and fixing up these guys so that they're ready for paint. windy outside so I brought them in here so things worked much better out the back door there was less wind and Hamilton will actually be ready for paint now which is very exciting this little gal will need a little more primer on her hind leg there so now we're back in the studio and the priming session went well so that's all good uh, but I'm just going to work on this guy now and I'm gonna sand down a bunch of his imperfections and make him a little cleaner to work with I'm feeling kind of overwhelmed with like the mess 
there's a lot of stuff on the ground now from the Dremel station. It's all over my clothes. Okay, so I'm gonna take a second and clean up and I'm going to make some more copies of Arrow. Studio clean out is a success. There's lots of space now to work. I have clean water and um, there's no crap on the floor anymore. So I'm good to Dremel. I've cleaned up the casting stuff and everybody's kind of in their place. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Are you so excited? So we have lots of animals to feed. This is an essential part of the evening. Hungry horses, hungry chicken. So these guys are really annoying if you don't feed them. They like to run under your feet. Watch them run. They come running. We also have a small pack of goats. So goats need their hay in like a hundred piles because they like to fight each other. So that's pretty much it. It's just giving them all hay and the chickens some seeds. And I need to check for chicken eggs. I always check the waters and then check that everybody's acting normal. And we do have some eggs. Good chickens. That's your baby. This is Dexter. Hi, Dexter. Hi, Dexter. You're getting your dinner. Let's go get you a dinner. And that's Charlie. What are you doing? Kill it. Kill the monkey. Kill him. Oh my goodness. Get him. Get him. The only other thing that we have to do later tonight, at some point when the sun goes down, is put the chickens away. Are you ready for your supper? Another thing I'm gonna have to deal with is all of these dishes that my family so graciously left me. realized I'm wearing like all black and I've changed my outfit like four times today not because of fashion but because of like what I do I need to constantly change my clothes so that I can wreck certain ones and keep other ones clean now I'm gonna set up my resin casting station just here I wanted to do it upstairs so that I don't need to sit in the cold basement and do it and I can work on my computer while it's going so I'm just going to make some of this and pour my first cast First one is ready, so I'm just going to set a timer, 15 minutes, and then I will come and do this a couple times tonight. So the next thing is that I have to do this portrait. When I get portraits, I do most of that on my cell phone now. That's looking pretty good. I should probably get started on this because he ordered it quite a while ago. I just opened my YouTube and this was the first comment that came up. How to prep and prime a horse. John Triplett, you don't have to tell us what to do. <laughs> Why are you watching my video? First cast is done, so let's pop it out. Still don't really know what I'm doing, so this is all a process. Here's the finished product, it's just a grid. Our resin is done. Second one came out, and third one is in. Hot twist, I changed my shirt again. I'm gonna go take the dogs out for a little bike ride because they seem kinda bored. She knows something is up. She's suspicious of my activities. Tensions are high. Do you wanna go for a walk? Oh my goodness! 
Do you? A walk? Oh! You talking? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is the unathletic dog. She never moves. Why are you moving so much? These are my sick wheels. out of 10 would not recommend vlogging on a bike. I'm not that coordinated or balanced. I figured out that biking with dogs is way more efficient because I barely exert any energy and they exert a lot of energy. There's two babies. They've been hanging out here a lot. Yeah, you too. This is a delayed thumb reaction. Charity bugs. All of our animals love each other too much. Don't sniff his butt. Rude. All the chickens went to bed now. Hello, should I brush your hair? Mm -mm. This is Marigold. She's 19. We can't figure out what breed she is because she's confirmationally very broken. <laughs> but she's a sweet horse. And she does everything you ask of her. But she gets really drippy eyes in the summer and the flies really bug her. The second child is Yoda. He's not even coming to say hi. And that is like completely out of character for him. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> so now you're in the vlog. Yikes. Wow. You're famous. Uh can I pour on myself? So I ended up taking a shower and then casting another medallion and then I called my boyfriend. So that's kind of how I ended my night. I'd say that today was a very productive day. This is definitely not what my everyday looks like. This was kind of special circumstance. I don't necessarily do this much all the time. And I think one of the really important things is just like looking into my life a little bit. It is difficult. It's been really hard being away from my boyfriend but you can definitely see that the lifestyle is a lot different and it's really really inspiring to be around animals all the time and have you know your backyard to go outside and it's beautiful and nice and it's not crowded with people so the move was definitely something that I had to do for my mental health and I feel a million times better I still have bad days I still have highs and I still have lows but as a whole, I'm not panicking and feeling absolutely worthless. So I've had a really amazing summer this year. It's been full of crazy things and I've done a lot of model horses, a lot of art, and been very successful and it's been really awesome. So I'm very happy with my decision. I still not like the most perfect scenario, but it's way better than where I was and I'm 100% happy that I made that choice. Now I'm just gonna make some popcorn and watch my trash TV again. <laughs> Thanks for watching and it's been a good day.